It's story time, and today we are going to read Disney Zootopia. Scam artist Nick Wilde grew up on the streets of a metropolis like no other. Animals from all over live there, believing they can be whatever they want. Only this savvy fox believes you are what you are, and that's all there is to it. Until he meets Judy Hobbs, that is. Straight from the bunny suburbs to the big city, Judy Hobbs is ready to make her dream of being a police officer come true. But she soon learns that being the first rabbit on the force isn't going to be easy. Judy is determined to prove herself, even if that means partnering up with Nick. Teeny Tiny Finnick is a master of disguise. This con artist is really a grown-up fennec fox in kids' clothing or an elephant costume, depending on the hustle. As Nick's sidekick, he uses his size to trick people into thinking he is something he's not, and he doesn't even feel bad about it. Bogo, the police chief, likes a good joke but he doesn't kid around when it comes to his squad. This Cape Buffalo expects his cops to be fast, tough, strong, and huge. When he meets Judy Hopps, he's pretty sure the little bunny is not cut out for field work, so he puts her on Meter Maid Judy. Sue and Bonnie Pops are proud of their daughter Judy for graduating at the top of her class at the police academy. They want their daughter's dream to come true, but they worry that police life is going to be dangerous. They even remind her to watch out for foxes. When Judy overhears Mrs. Otterton at the police department begging the police to find her missing husband Emmett, she volunteers to help. Chief Bogo doesn't want Judy working the case, but has no choice when Assistant Mayor Bellwether pipes in to support Judy's offer to help. Nick and Officer Judy team up and go to see Flash. Nick's sloth buddy at the Department of Mammal Vehicles. They have 48 hours to find Emmett Otterson and Flash is more than happy to help. Of course, slow moving Flash isn't breaking any speed records and uses up lots of time. When Nick and Judy track down the car that Emmett Otterson was last seen in, they are confronted by some tough looking polar bears. These bodyguards work for crime boss Mr. Big and that's exactly who they take Nick and Judy to see. Thanks to Judy, Mr. Big's helps them with their case. Noble Mayor Lionheart lives his life by his city's motto, anyone can be anything. In the wonderful melting pot that is his big city, he really believes that all animals have the chance to follow their dreams. 
Mayor Lionheart is a nice guy, but he is tough when he has to be. Assistant Mayor Bellwether may be a meek sheep, but just like her coffee mug says, she's the world's greatest assistant mayor. Always hard at work in the mayor's shadow, Bellwether insists that us little guys have to stick together. But what no one knows is that little Bellwether has a big secret. Small-time crook Duke Weaselton has a big-time mouth. He'll do anything to make a buck and laughs at the cops as he tries to give them the slip. But this bold weasel messes with the wrong cop when he robs the flower shop. Officer Hobbs stays in hot pursuit of Duke until she catches him. Watch the movie to find out what happens next. And please subscribe to watch more videos from Liam and Taylor's Corner. Okay, let's see which characters you got in our in our set. First, this is what's his name, Liam? Uh, this is Chief Bogo. 